Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought since Valentine's Day is around the corner, um, I should film a tutorial on how to do my version of a Venus Aphrodite kind of look. That's what I am going to be showing you guys today. If this is your first time seeing my face, <laughs> it's my name is Jeremiah, aka JM Delores. Hi, welcome. Before we get started, please make sure you guys subscribe down below or press my, um, my, um, that's <laughs> my watermark right here so you can easily subscribe. My Instagram is at JM Delore and my TikTok and Twitter for more behind the scene types stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, so guys, I am back. Contacts are in and we're gonna go ahead and just apply our wig first. We have our trusty wig cap. So we're gonna be using the same wig that we used in the video before. I'll put the video up here. But we're going to be using the same wig. The lace is going to end right over here. Cute. Face is forehead is small. Yes. We love that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with the big guns. I'm going to go in with the free spray. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Actually, no. I'm going to go in with the bad bit. This one, just because... I want to style it and I don't want to be like afraid. Okay. A little bit. We want it to be a little bit tacky first. Okay, forehead is small as fuck. We love that. Okay, so now that the center, as you can see, now that the center is glued down, I'm going to go ahead and glue down the rest of the lace off camera and I'll be right back for the styling portion of the hair. Don't go nowhere. Bitch, I know I look crazy. Now that I have the lace front glued down, as you can see, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go over areas that it's lifting up a little bit. Like, as you can see, it's glued down, but the ends right there is still lifted a little bit, so we wanna get everything flat. We don't want nothing lifting up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tail comb. You could grab any tail comb you have. Now I'm just gonna spray in this section right here. Go dry it. See how you don't have no more lifting up no more? That's what you want. You see how over here the hairline you can barely see that shit? That's what you want to motherfucking see. Ooh. Okay. So next, we're gonna do this side. It's not too bad, but you see it's still lifting up a little bit. We're gonna glue it down a little bit. Tail comb and just press it down, press it down, press it down. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and start styling. So we are back. Now that the hot comb is warm, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the flat, the hot comb, and I'm just gonna comb it through the hair, especially, specifically on the top. We want everything to look very smooth and very seamless. See how that looks? All of the. I'm gonna get this root right here. Slowly hold it, come out. This section right here. Okay, we're gonna take the hair on the very top, like so. So, I have these things. I believe this is for Jerry Curls. So I'm gonna take it and put it in the hair just because I don't really have anything else. And I'm just gonna wrap it around. As you can see, I'm just gonna wrap it around. And then I am going to clip it like so. 
Ich muss gut hin. I'm gonna take a damn tide, fucking tide to go, and I'm gonna do like this. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a rubber band, a little hair tie, and I'm just gonna tie the hair right here. Here, like that. The ghetto. And now for this side. Oh, look, I had another one. Oh, shit, what is broken? Shit. I'm gonna use a white marker. I'm gonna use a white, um, a white stick. What the fuck is this? A white out pen. Okay. I'm gonna go in and spray some hairspray from Chesame. This works wonders. So now that we have that, I'm just gonna start doing my edges and shit like that. If you want a full tutorial on how to maybe style a wig on a, or a specific style you want me to do or how to install on lace front, if you want a specific tutorial just for that, definitely hit me up, comment down below, and I'll definitely go ahead and do that for you guys. But for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward because we don't wanna be here all day. I'm gonna try out this thing where I take a neutral, where I take a neutral uh, concealer I'm using the Morphe concealer I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use it around my mouth I think I heard if you use a neutral uh, concealer to like to color correct in certain areas that works so bitch I don't fucking know I'm just fucking I don't know normally I never color correct but um for this look I really want to serve the full full fantasy and I really want to be unclockable. I'm gonna be using the Fenty foundation. I always use the same foundation for hair on my face. Now I'm gonna go in with that same concealer we used to color correct and I'm gonna just take it on my hyperpigmentation spot right underneath my neck. Perfect. And now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead with the uh, darker side, the side that we put the foundation on and we're just gonna blend it lightly and go over that concealer shade just so that it looks more blended and seamless and matching now look at that looks like skin to me bitch wow that really does color correct I feel like I always use the Morphe concealer for this as well we're gonna go in with a more warmer tone I'm gonna take the item here I'm gonna take the excess and just use it right over here. I'm not scared to get in the eyebrow because we're gonna blend it out. Okay. Love that. Love to see it.
Okay, now that we have that side fucking carved to filth, bitch. Literally, benefit is that bitch. I don't give a <laughs> All right, I'm back, guys. I'm going to finish my brows off with a Gimme Brow Plus in shade 6. Um, and we're going to just use it to add a little bit of tint to our brows. Just to make it more, uh, more natural looking. And just more seamless. Look at that. That looks stunning, bitch. Carry I'm sure you guys have seen my base routine already, but an updated base routine is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise primer right here, and I'm gonna just prime my eyelids. gonna take a slight dust of some translucent powder and just lightly dust over that area especially the inner corner right there where you have the brow bone you know connected to the brow bone right here from the nose you want to make sure that part is mattified as well so my lids are so oily like I leave them alone for two seconds and you already start seeing oil start to come up and mess up and you know cause wrinkling on the primer that I just put down so we're not trying to have that so I'm just gonna put that and leave that like that we're gonna do the next side off camera okay so now that we have our eyelids primed we are ready to start going in with some eyeshadow I'm gonna be using the Amrezy uh, palette we're gonna dive into this lighter more neutral shade you know you can't really see it but it's so soft and subtle and natural looking like I live for it. Now how you see, you see how the brow, the nose bridge, you see how it beautifully connects onto the eye like that. I'm gonna take the other brush that we used before to apply the previous eyeshadow. And I'm gonna continue that line over just to connect it a little bit more, make it more cohesive. But you see how that light shade just created, just highlighted that, that contour right there, you know? That's what we want. We are going to go in with a pointed brush by Morphe. So now that we have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that same uh, brown eyeshadow we have on the corner of our eye and I'm going to bring it down here. Stop right here, then continue. Okay, perfect. Nice, soft pink and then you blend it into with the brown we love that we're gonna take some of the beauty bakery powder right here pink metallic be careful when you add too much try to add small amounts and keep on building it up if you keep on if you add like a heavy amount and you don't evenly disperse the product onto the lash line of the lid right there it's gonna transfer because if you have it eyes like me as you can see a little bit is starting to transfer because I kind of went too heavy on the product 
And so that's one mistake that you don't want to make if you have hooded eyes like me. Try to put a small even amount, even layer, and then just build it up slowly, but don't be too crazy with it because it might transfer. Uh, look, my eyelashes got so long. Look at that. Look at that. The packaging, if I ever come out with a, with a lash uh, line or a clothing line or a lash line specifically, this is what I want the packaging to look like. And you know, elongate. You see how it just elongated that, that lash? Okay, so I'm gonna apply the next lash off camera right here in the middle. And I'm gonna use that as a highlighting shade. Like, look at this bead, like. I live for it. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and I'm gonna dive right into this very pigmented pink shade right over here. Okay, so as a base, I'm gonna use the Grayscale Cosmetics lip right here. Now that we have that done, we're gonna add some pink to the center. This is by Makeup Revolution from their Halloween collection. Everything is complete. I'm going to go ahead and change, put on a different top, fix my hair, and uh, I'll be right back to show you guys the finished result. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm living for this fantasy bitch. Ooh armor on right now i have my greek crown and everything and i'm so ready to take pictures and serve looks so if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up down below and also if you want to see more me or if you want to see different types of content from me you can always go ahead and subscribe down below or click the watermark the corner of the video either here or on this side but with that being said just thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for the endless support thank you guys so much again and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys bitch i live with this oh sickening <laughs>